peekaboo. It does. Let's not pretend. <laughs> I know yesterday. My coffee is not very sweet. I guess it's just not sweet. I know it's like aesthetically better to give you the mocha like that, but like, why don't they just mix it? Brain freeze, huh? I think I just got a brain freeze. Yes. That's your right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to talk to everyone. What? Jerry, that's your fork. Say hi, girls. Hi. Say Sienna. hi, Sienna. Hi. <laughs> I can't tell their voice apart. I know they say. Ew, say ew. <laughs> <laughs> it's the day after my birthday, but we're still celebrating. I'm going to Disneyland today for my birthday, and I'm with Jennifer hi. and Nielsen. And we are in the Chick fil A line because essentials. So we just got to. Oh, my battery. We just got to Disneyland, but um, right when we were at the bottom of the structure, and I'm gonna say this right here, I'm at 47B. Right when we got to the bottom of the structure, I remembered that I forgot my camera. So, I got this. Forgot my battery, so I had to come back real quick to get it too. Okay, put this in here and lock my car. I'm here with Jennifer and Nielsen and I'm like pretty excited because Jennifer brought her daughter so Amelia's gonna have a great time. She has a little friend. So Amelia has a little friend so that's like really cool. Um, that That's what I wanted for her. I wanted her to be to have a little friend so she wouldn't get bored. Which she wouldn't but yeah she loves CNN. <laughs> Toad ride.
amazing prayer time with God today. It was just like, I have to wake up so early now because I need at least like a minimum two hours to pray and like minimum two hours to read because I'm reading all these books right now plus the Bible and what is this? Oh, my steering wheel. I was like literally thinking, I was, I remember when I first prayed an hour, it was such like a huge accomplishment. Now I feel like there's not enough time and I just want to be in there more, but it's awesome because that means like your relationship with God is growing when you want to be with him more, but yeah, today's been awesome. I'm about to get these claws done. I'm waiting for my friend Giselle. Um, I'll put the address below, but my this is my friend's business. She's a Christian. She's a woman of God. She's a single mother. So any services um, you guys need beauty-wise. She does makeup classes. She sells makeup. Um, I would definitely get here if you want to be around someone faith-based. So definitely get in here and come visit her. She's the best, and this business is awesome. Ever since she came into the house of God, I've just seen it flourish. So it's pretty awesome to see. But um, yeah, I'm continuing my birthday vlog because at Disneyland, I got a bunch of B-roll. So Disneyland was super fun. I was able to go with um, Jennifer and Nielsen, and then we had our, um, Amelia and Sienna. So they're like around the same age, but it was just super awesome. Um, to go for my birthday to celebrate my birthday but I mostly went for Amelia because she kept talking about how she wants to go to Disneyland ever since I took her for her birthday so I was able to take her thank God he always provides like I really wanted to go but I wasn't sure if I was gonna go but I got blessed with the ticket I got blessed with money for Disneyland by my dad and my sister so shout out to you guys you guys are the best um, I had a great birthday and you guys sent me gifts. I'm so grateful. Uh, Nielsen sent me this. So this is basically, uh, this is something that I discovered after I got the iPhone 11 because I'm the type of person that if I'm in my car, in my core, if I'm in my car, if I'm in my car, I need to, tr I need to charge my phone because I don't like taking charges with me anywhere because I know I'll lose them or forget them. So I have to charge my phone while playing music so like my battery doesn't die so this is a bluetooth thing but obviously you connect it into the aux so you can have your phone connected while you listen to music so it's pretty cool um i had another one but it like can you guys see that let me show you guys this one here oh it's showing right here i broke it it's like pointing downwards so look at it it, it was messed up. So Nielsen got me that. I'm super, 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 super grateful. I'm going to show you guys all the gifts I got to. Um, I got I got really blessed. Um, it's super awesome. I've been using it everywhere. But this is like another gift that I got for my birthday. So I've been blessed. <laughs> um, let me show you guys my before. This is just regular nail polish. Um, I haven't gotten my nails done since like October. I haven't gotten my nails done since Night of Care. If you know, you know. I love this water bottle. Well, I'm not like a, I don't like cold water, but I like to have my water with me because I always need to be drinking water. And I like this strap thing because I could strap it onto stuff. So like, it's not inconvenient to carry this around, you know, it's easy. Like all my water bottles have to have some kind of strap that I could like just hang on to something or put it on my shoulder or put it on my wrist because I'm, I'm, I'm always carrying a bunch of stuff. But I also started working out, guys. I went yesterday with my friend Alex. It's super awesome to go with someone and just keep um, each other accountable. So I'm excited to get back into it. And I'm super, like, stoked. And I'm not being all crazy trying to do the most. I just do, you know, what I have to do. I don't have to beat myself up in there, which is what I used to do. I used to work out so hard before and do, like, a bajillion different exercises for what? I don't know but yeah I'm excited to be back in the gym like this time for reals have a partner a gym partner so she's gonna keep me accountable and we're gonna keep each other accountable so it's it's amazing so accountability is kind of everything I mean I want to get to the point where I don't like need to have pressure or like people checking up but I mean you gotta do what you gotta do man like that like I talked about my 5 a.m. prayer chat like, I've been so consistent at praying at, in the morning since I started that chat. Like, so consistent. And it's like, 
it makes such a difference because you can't just be like I'm up and then go to sleep. It's like you gotta sh you gotta get up, and then you gotta call people that haven't woken up yet on the on the chat that we have, and then we have to send like our candle, our book, coffee, just things like that, so we could be awake. Like, it's so worth it. Honestly, it's been getting so much easier. And one thing that I do is I've shared it before is I pull my hair back. I put my hair out of my face because that makes me like sleepy. I brush my teeth and I put cold water on my face like cold water absolutely no hot water in it just straight up cold faucet water all over my face and then i'm awake and i start drinking my coffee so yeah i don't know where giselle's at but i'm gonna call her because it's 12.09 also want to share the books that i'm reading right now um uh, this book is amazing love your way to victory by kenneth e hagan I am almost done with it, so I'm, I need about this much to finish the book. So I've read a good chunk of this, and it is so, 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 so good. And if you guys are kind of like on a budget, I recommend thrift books if you don't mind having used books. But um, this book is so, so good, and it just talks about just the love walk and how important it is to walk in love. And it's honestly changed my life and just my point of view and just like... It's just changed my everyday life and my everyday thinking and just the way I react to things and the way I react towards people. Like, there's, it's just something that is getting written on my heart that it's like, man, I can't say that or do that or react like that because I walk in love now. So, yeah. Read this book. It talks, it talks about forgiveness. It gives, like, examples, life examples. You're trying to be someone full of faith and walking in love? Read this book. It's so, so, so good. All right, guys. I already filmed for 10 minutes talking about who knows what. I'll see you guys in there when I start doing my nails. Where is she at? I'm here with Giselle. She's going to do my nails. So this is the studio she does them in. So you guys should definitely come all up in here. This is my before. This is my first time doing gel X. I love them, they're super thin. And I'm back. Oh, whatever. <laughs> it's me, Vivian. It's me, it's Jessica. <laughs> it's me, Jessica. <laughs> Why do I keep saying Samantha? It's cute in here. It is so cute in here. It's a vibe. I'm gonna be like this all the time. <laughs> you have to just like stop. <laughs> Guess where I'm at? I am at Chick-fil-A. Like the old days, remember? I used to go to Chick-fil-A like all the time. I'm so short. I might the wheels covering me. But um honestly I wanna go to the gym and I didn't eat before. So I'm gonna eat now and then go to the gym because I also need to go to the church. So there's a couple things that I need to do today. Um, I'm trying to figure out where I can put you guys. I think that's good. Um, yeah, I love my nails. They're so cute. I've never done Gel X before. It's my first time. And they're just like thinner and they're different. But um, she says they last like four weeks. So I get what I usually get. Vivian? Vivian, how are you doing, Vivian? Good, and yours? Pretty good, pretty good. And how else are you today, Vivian? Can I get um, the what's the count for the nuggets, the grilled ones? Uh, eight twelve. Can I get twelve count uh, nuggets for the beverage? Um, 
Can you do strawberry lemonade? Strawberry lemonade? Yeah. And then fr instead of the fries, can I do mac and cheese? A small one? Uh, we can only do medium or large for the mac and cheese. Okay, medium is fine. Medium Yeah. And that's it. So repeat the order, we have a grilled uh, stove count with a medium mac and cheese and a strawberry lemonade. Any sauces? Can I just get a uh, buffalo sauce? My mac and cheese. <laughs> um, you guys have been asking me what I work out to. Naomi just sent me this little mix and I love it. Um, it's for sure very like EDM um, music, but it's um, faith-based. And there's another mix I really like. Um, actually, one of my um, friends, one, uh, someone that goes to the church made a little like remix and it's so good. I use it to work out too. But right now I'm gonna do back. All I did was, all I did was eat my mac and cheese. Because I want to be too full. And then after I get out of the gym, I'm going to drink this lemonade and my um, protein. My protein? My chicken. But, like, a little trick. After you work out, you're supposed to have some sugar. So, to maximize the gains, just old stuff that I've been knowing for a long time from when I used to go to the gym. It's probably going to be all melted and stuff, but it shouldn't take me longer than an hour. I'm doing bath, so. Yeah, I'm going to leave my chicken and my lemonade for after. The mac and cheese was perfect, a perfect amount. So, what am I gonna take down? Oh, I'm not taking my camera down. I'm not bringing you guys because I just wanna get this. I wanna just get in, get out type of thing. So, I'll see you guys um, when I'm back. Maybe I'll record on my phone, but I'll see you guys when I'm back. Hey guys, so I just came back from the gym. It's already the next day, I think. Yeah, it's the next day now. Yesterday I did back. Today I did shoulders. On Monday I did uh, legs. So I've been really consistent with the gym this week. So that's been awesome. But before I ended this video, I just wanted to share with you guys some of the gifts that I got that you guys sent me and I'm very super grateful. So first things first, Galiza sent over this little light. This thing is awesome. You clip it onto your book and I don't know what it is. Oh, it's on right now. I don't even know it was on but basically you clip it onto your book and you can like read which is awesome in the morning because I, I when I pray I like to just have a candle on and I've been doing this thing where I read my devotional um, during prayer it could build me up and I know like what God's speaking to me so I'll read my devotional during prayer and I'll just keep praying so I've been loving this thing I, I also this is from Amazon, but this one I found it at the 99 cent store or not 99 cent store Dollar Tree uh, It's batteries not rechargeable. This is rechargeable This thing is pretty cool, too. So if you're near a, a Dollar Tree for sure check that out And then um, I just got this one yesterday. I'm so excited. I love this translation It's the passion translation and you can never have too many Bibles and since we're on the topic of Bibles I'm gonna show you guys the Bibles I got for my birthday Zabdi got me the new King James Version Spirit-filled Bibles. So I love this. I love the new King James Version. I feel like it's just so like, it just hits different, you know? King, the new King James Version is just like, like look at this. Psalms 1, what is this? Psalms 140, 43, 6. I spread out my hands to you. My soul longs for you like a thirsty land. I got the King James Version. Um, Maria gave me this um, from church. So thank you so much for this Bible Maria I actually am understanding the new King James version now and just having the little notes at the bottom with the spirit filled Which if you don't have a spirit filled Bible, you need to get one um, Having these things at the bottom explained really helps and when I read this I actually understand it Which is crazy because I remember in the beginning. I did not know what the King James version was talking about. I love I love the word and then I got these little bookmarks which these bookmarks are magnets and you basically clip them on to one of your one of your pages like and then you save your spot where you're reading it was also a gift so thank you so much for buying me this book um this book actually i already had it but i let somebody borrow it and they never gave it back and i was really sad because this is a book that you don't just read once it's like something you need to read constantly because it just talks about how um God sees you and who you are in God and who you are because God is in you so this is like a book that you can't just read one time and be like okay I'm done like no you gotta read this a couple times so very grateful that I got God's image of you 
this was a gift from me to me. Um, I haven't read it yet, that, but I, I got a used book on Amazon and this is how it came. It looks nothing like what it looked like, but it's the book. It's called The Jezebel Spirit by Francis Frangie Payne. Frangie Payne. I haven't read it at all yet, but this book is like used and like from the 1920s. Like, I bought used books before, but I did not expect this. Like, what is that? Blood? Ew. Okay, whatever. I'm excited to read this though. I bought this on Amazon, so um, I got this for myself. Um, my pastor is reading this and it has a plan on reading the Bible in a year. So it's super cool. It has uh, today's scripture, daily fire, mark my word, the Bible in a year, plus the devotional all right here. And I really love how like, oh look, I just happened to open it on my birthday day. I really like how this is like like a little calendar. It's just like an extra touch. I think it's super cute. I love it. Okay. Glyza got me this little purse, which I love. It's so cute. It's pink. And this bag is perfect um, for church on Sundays. Because, like, once again, I do social media. So I carry my phone and my camera with me. And they both fit in here. So <gasps> I was looking for this lipstick. I found it. It's a gift that the media team gave me. They also gave me glass mugs, um, which are over there dirty but i've been wanting a glass mug so bad but you know god will give you the desires of your heart because i have been wanting glass mugs since like december for all the secret Santas i was in i put the glass mugs and nobody got me the glass mugs and then i finally got them so i'm super grateful and this candle it smells really good it's really nice too one two three four five six seven Seven Bible translations. Wow. You can never have too much bread in your house. Well, I also got two giant boxes of Pete's Coffee. And I'm so grateful. I love Pete's Coffees. And I don't have access to Costco right now. So those coffees and that size. Yeah, I have a hundred. I have a hundred and something. Well, probably less now because I drink them every day. But basically, I got a hundred and eight pods of Pete's Coffee. Medium roast. Domingo style, whatever it's called. It's so good. Also got some kitchen stuff and pink towels uh, But the kitchen stuff I didn't bring them out, but it's like basically little meal prep stuff I've been needing some new towels. So yeah, that's basically all I got for my birthday um, I'm super grateful. I'm super blessed and um, Yeah, I'm just grateful for another year and I just know that this is a year that God is just gonna shower me in his favor and his goodness and mercy are gonna pass by me and i'm gonna see his glory so i'm just excited i'm just excited for this year so officially 26 years old and i'm just grateful that um that jesus saved me and i'm a 26 year old woman on fire for god and i'm just grateful because yeah, God's good. I just trip out on my own testimony sometimes and I just think about like how, how, how. I just think how, but Jesus. Literally, the only explanation is Jesus. Like nobody can sit here and tell me that Jesus is not real. If you surrender your life to him and you're willing to lose your life to find your real life in Jesus, I can tell you right now, only about a year and a half in, that it's going to be way better than anything you can imagine and god's not even done yet like he's he barely got started you know he barely got started and this is only the beginning and the best is yet to come so yeah wait i forgot to sh i forgot to share my favorite gift this was my favorite gift um only because whoever got me this the person that got me this, which they didn't put their name or anything or like a note or nothing. So I don't know who this is from, but I know it was one of my subscribers. But this chair um, is my new prayer chair. So you just like literally sewed a chair where you just gave me a chair where I encounter God. You're going to reap a harvest for this one. <laughs> For real though, I'm so grateful. This chair is perfect. Um, my beanbag was kind of getting like flimsy and I was tired of it. And then also the beanbag could be like too comfortable. The point where I could just like, you know. And this is comfortable as well. But you know, I have to sit up straight or else my back's gonna hurt. 
So I like it because of that. But yeah, that's basically it. I know the, consisten the consistency on my channel has been a little off, but, um, you know, I'm ready to be back and just be on it. And I'm separating days for YouTube. I'm separating hours for YouTube because um, I can't run away from something that God has called me to do. I know that this channel helps a lot of people. And I know that this channel um, is like inspiring to others because I basically docu have documented my whole walk with God which is a revelation that I got last night somebody told me that like do you realize that you've documented your whole walk with God and it's on YouTube and people can watch that and I was just like whoa I've never thought about it like that but um, I know that this channel is something that helps people and it's something that brings people closer to God so I don't ever want to stop making videos and I don't ever want to get out of the will of God for my life so I'm back like I'm really back and I'm on a schedule and I'm dedicated and I'm I'm going all in again with my whole heart and with God guiding me the whole way so stay tuned guys I'm gonna continue to make videos and I love you all so much and I'll see you in the next one bye guys